Well, good morning. <laughs> Yesterday I did a 50 mile per hour loop. Got just over 28 miles per gallon in my 2023 GMC Canyon AT4. And uh, wow, guys, thank you. Um, got lots of great comments on the video yesterday. Uh, it's just one of these months where I'm traveling all over the place right now. And today is a special day too because um, I get to go golf. Now, if you hear some squeaking noises in the backseat of my golf clubs, it's not the truck. <laughs> It's not the truck, but I've been invited to a 40th anniversary for one of my suppliers for my business, and uh, I'd never turn down a free day of golf, would you? Right? <laughs> so what we're doing today is we're gonna do a complete fuel tank, and we're gonna be doing about 340 miles on one tank. I filled up yesterday when I was done with my 50 mile loop. I drove about nine miles in town, and now we're gonna drive regular speeds. Um, I'm, uh, people were saying 50 is not reasonable. So, for example, right now, I'm doing 60 miles an hour on a flat rural road, and I'm finding I'm getting about two to three miles a gallon instantly less than I was getting at 50 miles per hour. So today, we're going to be driving from Hanford, California, all the way up to, to Livermore. It's a winery golf course over there. I'll get you guys some pictures coming up here. But uh, we're looking for an average commute, the way people will drive this vehicle, and see what we can get out of mileage by going about 180 miles each way. Join me for a ride from Hanford, California, all the way over to Livermore, which is in the Bay Area, right next to it, and back right here on Reviews It. As we enter I-5, one of the most iconic roads in the United States, it goes all the way from the Oregon border to the Mexican border. I've traveled almost every mile of it over my lifetime. Just know that, um, Ride quality is what I want to talk about real quick. Uh, looks like we're right at about 20.1 miles per gallon. We're going to be doing just about the speed limit, maybe a little bit over 70, 75 on I-5. Uh, we're trying to do normal real-world driving here with just the truck and one passenger. But ride quality on this thing. The first day I drove it, it was a little stiff. A couple weeks ago, I've got 1,500 miles on it now. It has really kind of settled in now and it feels really good. These seats are wonderful. I can't speak for the work truck or the LT or the, the, the elevation versions of this truck. But what I can speak to is, it is good for a small pickup truck there. Is it an Escalade? Does it have air ride handling? Does it have all those things? No, no. But it's not gonna rattle your teeth out when you're driving it, right? So for that, you know what? It's a really nice riding truck. We are 95 miles from getting off of I-5 and making a left-hand turn to go up the hill to Livermore, California, where we're gonna go Golfing. Okay, we made it to Wente Vineyards right outside of Concord, California, about 190 miles. Now, according to our trip, we can see it right here, 19 miles the gallon, but as you can see, it's a pretty windy day and we were bucking headwinds the entire way. We had about 10 miles of city driving before we left town, all highway for the next, I don't know, 140 miles, and then the last 10 miles was mountain driving through the hills of Concord and part of it was a one lane road. 
It was pretty crazy. We've made it here. We're going to go golfing. Uh, you know what? And maybe stick around until after the credits today and there might be a little special, uh, I don't know, Easter egg there for you, something like that. Anyway, we're here at Wenty Vineyards and uh, let's go golfing. Wow, what a day out there golfing with a bunch of guys from the gun industry the, um, over here at uh, the Livermore Golf Course Wenty Vineyards or something like that. Probably the toughest course I've ever golfed at. <laughs> But I had a great guy. Don was with me. We had a great time today just talking about all kinds of stuff for families. And yeah, he works for EOTech. Uh, it was just two of us, not a, not a, not four in our group. But we lost so many balls today. Here's some pictures of, uh, of us out on the course and, and, and me trying to hit the ball. Um, I don't claim. I've actually been accused of... Um, of uh, my golf style is even a blind squirrel can find a nut sometimes. Yeah. So we had a little uh, after party, uh, after golfing event where they did some awards and some things and recognitions. It's a 40th anniversary for Gun Accessory Supply, plus their founder had died last year. Uh, it was a great event and I want to thank Gun Accessory Supply for inviting us up here. Now it's time to drive home as far as I can go before I need gas and we're going to check the fuel economy when we get back. We are at 84 miles to empty right here. I'm going to be turning off here and it would be about 80 miles of county roads with no gas stations. So I'm going to take a chance. We're going to fill up at 84 miles left in the tank. We're at 300 and 3 miles at 18.8 miles the gallon. I will tell you though, we have been bucking winds both ways. A big storm's coming into California. 30 mile an hour winds and this truck's getting pushed all over the road. We are just about gassed up here. It just stopped at 16.251. It's going to be less than 20, it looks like, but let's make sure it's topped off. I've been bucking wind all day, both ways, it seems like, because the way the storm's coming in. 16.319, 16.319. All right, so here we go, 306 divided by 16.319. Eighteen point seven five. Eighteen point seven five. And that is in traffic jams on city streets and driving uh, 70 or plus on a freeway that was very crowded and super windy right in my face. The storm was coming in one way this morning and going out the other way tonight. So um, not the best. Okay, well, it is uh, now nine o'clock. At night, I started at 5.30 this morning. It's been a long day to the Bay Area. We had about 18.7 or six miles per gallon coming up and down the freeway and through the mountains and stuff. And now I finally made it back home. I'm at the Chevron station here and we're gonna do one last fill up. So we know that freeways and mountains and city driving got us about 18.7 in a bad, blustery, windy corridor. It was 40 mile an hour winds in there. It was it was crazy. Let's do it again right now. Let's fill up this last time. It was, let's take a look here real quick. Uh, we'll go here. And we'll go here. And here. And see, we went 66.7 miles. And it says here we're averaging 23.3, 23.3. Now, we had exactly the same estimate the last time we filled up from the pump to the truck. So let's see if it's 23.3. And what that means is I drove about 10 miles on the freeway at freeway speeds. And then I did about 30 miles of this at 65. And then the last... 20, 25 miles, I did it 55 miles an hour. Let's see if we can pull 23 out of this and let's combine the two then and see what those numbers are. Okay, just clicked once. We're gonna go back down here and we're gonna click it one more time. 2.887, 2.887 gallons. We just got done filling up at our last site here and it was 66.7. When you combine both, you get 372.7 miles. And then when you add both fill-ups, it's 19.206. So let's do that one real quick. 372.7. 
19.401 or 19.405 is what that one is. Now let's go to the other ones real quick. We got coming home right now was 23.1 miles per gallon. We got 23.2 coming in here. So our trip information was spot on, was spot on with that. So we know that driving at high speeds on freeways, plus in the mountains, in the wind, will bring your gas mileage down. And when you're on flat road, going between 55 and 65, with very few stops, you can get as high as 23.1 or two miles per gallon. That wraps it up for this edition of the mileage test with the 2023 GMC Canyon AT4. Please subscribe below and thank you for watching. And don't forget, watch after the credits real quick. And uh, I got some a uh, little question for you guys. Thank you so much. Well, I told you yesterday uh, I would have a little Easter egg at the end here. I just want to tell you a little bit about myself. Born and raised in Central California, I uh, was a cop for 21 years, a deputy sheriff actually. And uh, I do own and operate an indoor gun range in California. I've been doing gun reviews for years, but uh, my passion is really vehicles. I love cars. And I like watching YouTube videos about cars. Now my question to you is, who is your favorite car review guy on YouTube? I'll tell you a little bit about uh, who I watch real quick and then please comment below about who you'd like to watch and what kind of makes you uh, like them for who they are. So just a couple of my top five. Um, of course, the guy that goes, this is Doug DeMiro. The guy has uh, really built an empire and he's doing a great job out there and I'm so glad that he um, he's out there because he is so thorough and uh, sincere about what he does and has a little bit of fun doing it. A close second would be TFL guys over in Boulder, Colorado. Those guys are super cool and they have a great team that keep things interesting and Roman and his son and Andre and uh, all the guys there are great and they're growing and I love that and uh, good for them. I want to take one second to uh, thank In Jason's Garage for the $10 super chat that he sent me. First one ever and it was it was surprising and it was fun to see. Thank you so much In Jason's Garage for that. Moving on, there's a really crazy guy out there called Rady's Rides. Um, talking about Twinkies, talking about uh, how you fit certain things in stuff. Uh, he zonks things. He's weird, but that's what makes him fun. And I think he does a great job. Rounding out my list would probably be pickup trucks and SUV guy with um, his lady friend. I think they've explained it, but I really don't understand the relationship there. But um, that guy's really good. And then if I'm really looking to have some fun and laugh a little bit and enjoy a video, the Canadian duo up there at Throttle House are fantastic to watch. Remember, let me know who you like and why you like them uh, right there in the comments below. And I really do hope you have a great day. And please subscribe. I got more videos coming. Have a great day.